Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new speed build. Today I have a base game family home and I'm very excited to share this because it's been a hot minute since I did a base game home. I used to do one every month when I started out my channel but then the past like year and a half, two years, I, I haven't. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I've just been, I think mostly because I've been working on my save file so much so like every single time I'm building a house it's for my save file and I don't really need any base game builds for my save file. Um, there are going to be some, like don't worry, <laughs> like some of the base game homes I've done are going to be in my save file, but I've already built them and like they're already done. So yeah, um, I have like all the suburban lots I need for like Win Windenburg, <laughs> what? for like Newcrest and um, Willow Creek, which is like the base game world you would have this type of house in. So it wouldn't really make sense for me to build a base game home in any other world. So I think that's maybe why I haven't built any, but yeah, anyways, today I'm building a base game home and I, again, I'm very excited to share it. It's, I, I really like it. I haven't built, again, a base game home in a hot minute, so going into this, I was kind of excited to see, like, what do we actually have in base game because I don't, like, build pack-restricted things that often anymore. Um, I said this a couple of videos ago, but, like, if you have any like packs you want me to just build with like if you want me to do a house with just base game and parenthood or like just like i don't know base game and horse ranch or you know whatever let me know in the comments because i would love to do some more like um pack restricted builds because i do really appreciate that not everyone has all the packs so yeah let me know if there's any builds you want me to do like that but um i because i very rarely do like pack restricted builds i kind of forget sometimes what is in base game and what is not a base game so um it was kind of fun in this to like see like all right that isn't base game and then and then and then you know whatever um also like a year ago when we got uh growing together we got this huge base game update which obviously added infants into the game but then also just a lot of other like objects into the build and buy category um i think like all of them if not most of them um i'm <laughs> I said that the wrong way. I meant most of them, if not all of them, um, actually like had to do with infants and stuff like that. But like, there's just like, we got some more objects and I think I've only built like one base game home since that update. So this was well overdue. Um, but yeah, I started this build, I don't know, like a couple of months ago, actually, uh, on stream. I need to get back to streaming. Like I genuinely do. I think when I get home from the UK, which I will be when you're watching this, um, I, it will be like my first day of travel. <laughs> um, like I, I'll be, I'll be leaving when you're watching this basically. Um, I don't know why I said first day of travel. It doesn't take, it literally takes me less than a day to travel to the UK. I, I mean, I'm in Europe, so it's not that far, but anyways, um, I think maybe when I get back from that, uh, I will be streaming a little bit more. I'm going to try to at least. Um, but yeah, anyways, I did start this on stream. So, uh, if the video, like, the first por portion of this video, uh, is, I don't know, it'd be a little weird if, like, the camera moves weirdly, that is why I think when you stream a build compared to when I'm just, like, building myself, I sometimes, I don't know, move the camera a little bit differently just because, like, someone will come into the stream and be like, oh, what are you doing? You know, like, show it around. So if there are any more, like, transitions maybe than normal, that would be why. Um, but you also see that I struggled a lot with the exterior at first. I didn't really know what to do with the left hand side of the build. Um, it does end up breaking out in the end, but you probably have seen me just struggle with it a lot. Um, so I'm sorry if that like looks a little weird for me just to struggle like that, but I think it's important to like keep in my building process because it's not always that I just come into a build and like everything works out perfectly at once. Like it is okay to change your mind. So yeah, I kept it in, but I'm sorry if it looks a little weird. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, this house is for two parents, one kid and a toddler. And I am really excited specifically about like the toddlers and kids bedrooms because I don't think I've done any base game toddler and rooms like that i am sorry my cat just opened my door one second i am so sorry for that i have no clue how my cat opened my door because like i had shut it closed so i don't know how she opened it but she did um i think she just like heard my voice and she was like oh my god you're home i want cuddles <laughs> so 
<laughs> I will let her in again um, when I'm done recording. But anyways, uh, yeah, I really, really like the taller and kids room because I don't think I've done a si like similar ones when I've done base game homes because like obviously a base game is a lot more limited than if I were to build with like any other packs. So when I do base game homes, I tend to do like similar teens and kids rooms and like decoration style like overall in the house like I tend to do like pretty similar ones because again we don't have like a lot of different personalities um like decoration wise um with base game but I try to like do something different and I think I did it and I'm really happy with it um the toddler's bedroom ends up being very like I think it ends up being very blue, if I'm right. I think so. Um, so I've been pre like recording and pre like I've been editing and stuff like that. So I like I'm things are blending it together in my head. But I'm pretty sure um it is like a pretty blue bedroom and I used the taller bed that looks like a car. Uh, I never use that taller bed. I tend to go for the taller bed that we got from uh eco lifestyle just because it's so cozy like i love that one so much but obviously i couldn't use that in this build so i was like hmm like what do we want to use and i struggled a little bit but then i decided um on that bed and again i never ever use it it has some really cute swatches though like it has some like racer car swatches and it has some more like i don't know it like kind of looks a like a um i want to say a wagon that's not the right <laughs> that's not the right word but like there's a couple of swatches that has like um the wheels look like they're made of wood and there's like i don't know like a uh unicorn on them stuff like that it kind of looks like a carriage maybe you would have in like i don't know cinderella or something like that like the pumpkin but like as a car uh, bed ish <laughs> I don't know if this is making any sense, but yeah, I never used that bed, but it was really fun to use it in there. And then I also just tried to um, make it like fun. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then the, I was a teen's bedroom. It is a kid's bedroom. Obviously you can have a teen in there if you want to, but I was imagining a kid in there. Um, but the kid's bedroom ends up being kind of like muted <laughs> it's not as like fun per se but um it still is don't worry like i didn't make it to just be like plain like it still has a lot of decorations and stuff like that but it ends up being um kind of like light light yellow and like creamy colors and i really like it i think it's again just being really really cute um and like the rest of the house is a little bit darker i want to say like i use a darker wood tone and then obviously i mixed it with like some whites and stuff like that so it doesn't end up looking like really really dark don't worry about it but yeah i just wanted this house to be still like really cozy even though it is just base game and i wanted this to still be cluttered so yeah i think i succeeded in that obviously you can let me know in the comments uh down below but yeah um i think like one specific thing that i use a lot when it comes to base game builds is the debug menu like I use the debug menu so much. We have so many good things in the debug menu for clutter. Like we have um, like a watering can thingy. What is it called? I don't know. Like, you know, when you like water plants, you know that like we have that and we have um, like a package uh, that you can put by the front door. So it looks like someone has like dropped off a package maybe and you know, stuff like that. And then like my one of my favorite things that we have in base game, which I don't really understand why we have it in base game, <laughs> but it's this little like stool um, and I used it by the front door. I think I also ended up using it like in the backyard and like throughout the house as well, um, but it's this just, it looks like a little stool and we got it, like it obviously is in base game, but we got it when the spa day update happened. Um, so I think it's like two years ago now maybe more. I don't, I genuinely don't know, uh, but whenever we got that update, and we got like manicure and pedicure things in the game and stuff like that. Um, that little stool like came with that. Like it's supposed to be like a stool you would sit on. Like the person who were like doing your manicure and pedicure would sit on, I think. I don't actually know. Um, but it's something like that. But somehow it ended up being in a base game and not in the um, like spa day debug menu. I don't know why, but I'm not going to complain about it because I could use it in places during this and it I don't know I think it, it's just really cute and it's kind of again realistic because I like using ottomans in my builds but uh the base game ottomans we have are a little bit too fancy for my taste and like we don't really have any puffs if that makes sense like we have a couple of like puffs that I would usually put in a um like living room or maybe 
you know, in just like random places. Um, like we have one from uh, the Snow Escape expansion pack. We have uh, like a, we have a couple ones, like different ones that I use all the time. I don't know if puffs is the right word, but I think you kind of know what I mean. Um, and we don't really have them. So instead of like using that in base, well, we don't have them in base game. We have them in the game, obviously, but we don't have them in the base game. Um, and so instead of using that, obviously in this build, I use that little stool instead. And I think it, it's just really cute. Um, and then I also use a few different like debug and live edit menu um, plans. Obviously the entire landscaping is <laughs> like live edit landscaping. It always is for me because I just prefer the live edit. Uh, ones there is a couple of exceptions, but it mostly I just like the <laughs> I just like the um, live edit landscaping more than the actual landscaping that like costs money in the game. Um, but then we also uh, have some like potted plants uh, in the in the live edit menu. Uh, they are a little bit more like outdoor plants. So I don't use them in like in the house, but I do use them on the exterior. And yeah, I just think it's kind of cute. Um, but yeah, anyways the. <laughs> I probably should talk a little bit more about the build. Um, so the, like, obviously you've seen me do, like, the entire exterior. The, like, it's pretty simple. It's a normal suburban house. There's not really, like, I don't know, a lot to comment on. Um, the backyard I did struggle a little bit with because we don't have that many, I don't know, like, skill building items in base games. So I decided to do a pool and I did it in not, like, just a square. It has some, like, angles on it. Just... To create a little bit of dimension, I guess. Uh, and I put like some sun loungers and um, like a barbecue area. And I think I ended up putting the like monkey bars and then like some planters. But I thought like, obviously, if you've been here before, you know that I hate when things look empty. I do not like when things are empty at all. So uh, I feel like for me, the backyard looks empty. I think it does look good. Um, but because I'm used to be able to put like plants everywhere, like, you know, whatever. Um, it, felt, it felt a little bit weird for me to like have the backyard be quote unquote bare. Like it's not, but in, in mal terms it is, you know? Um, and yeah, because again, like we have plants, obviously, um, in base game, like we have, you know, like plants you can have on the interior and stuff like that. So I could definitely use them on the exterior and I did, but we don't have as many and I don't want to like repeat a lot of them. Uh, don't get me wrong, there are obviously a lot of like repeats of plants like all over this build, but I don't like when they're too close in proximity to each other. So like you can like, if you're taking a screenshot, you can see like five like of the same plant, you know, like I don't prefer that that much. So um, I just struggle a little bit, but I think in the end it ended up working out. Um, and then in, for the interior, you saw me do the entranceway, um, entrance hallway, the entrance room. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, and then I go into the living room. This house's floor plan is a little bit weird. I don't really know why it ended up being like this, but I do really like it. It's just a little weird, I feel like. Um, but yeah, I really like the living room. It's kind of a weird shape. Like usually I would put the TV on top of like the fireplace, but um, for this one I didn't. And it kind of creates this like L-shaped living room thingy. And I really like it. I think it ends up looking really good. Um, <laughs> when I was doing the screenshots for this build, I don't remember why, but I know I had some tr pr uh, troubles with the fireplace and I, for the life of me, could not figure out what the problem was. Like my sim was just like waving in the air being like, hey, I cannot light this fireplace. And I kept being so pissed because I was like, what is it? So like I removed all the decorations on top of the fireplace. I removed the armchair and that's next to it. I removed the plant. Like I scooted back the rug because I've had that issue before, which is, I don't understand. <laughs> how that can become an issue but sometimes that's an issue and I was so confused but um in the end it ended up being uh a couple of things I put by the uh coffee table I do just move them in the end so if you see any differences in the screenshots to how you see me build it now that would be why I always playtest my houses right before I do the screenshots so however the screenshots look is it, um how this is gonna look when you download this build um but yeah that fireplace it was the bane of my existence for a bit, but <laughs> I think in the end it ended up working out fine. Um, and then from the living room, you can go into the uh, dining room, but the dining room has like three archways. <laughs> like it has one from the living room, it has one from a hallway, and then it has one into the kitchen. And yeah, I just really like how it flows. The dining room ends up being 
a little bit weird. Um, normally I would just like have the table in the middle and I don't know, decorate a little bit, but I, I didn't really know what to do with this uh, dining room, but I think it ended up working fine. Um, I do put the table in the middle uh, for a while. I had it on like one of the sides a little bit more, but I do end up putting it a little bit more in the middle. Um, and then I just, I put like a bookcase and I put like a hutch where you have like, you know, your dinnerware, like the china and stuff like that. Uh, but then I also didn't know what to do with the other wall that is like behind the dining table because normally I would put, I don't know, I genuinely don't know what I would put, but like whatever I usually put, we don't have in base games. So I decided to put this like divider, which you would normally have in like a room to be like, you can change behind it, but I put it there. It might be a little bit weird, but I really like it. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, also another thing you will see me do in the dining room and then also specifically in the toddlers and the kids room. I do do it in uh, like a couple of hallways, but you won't really see me do that. But um, I did it specifically like a lot in the toddlers and kids room, but it's using these paintings, which you might have noticed because we, um, in the base game, in general, I feel like in this game, but it's specifically a base game, we're lacking a little bit in the paintings category. And again, I didn't want to have to reuse the same painting like over and over and over again. Um, and we don't really have a lot of like wall decorations in general. So um, I decided to use some paintings that you can paint yourself in the game. Um, so I made these rooms. It's technically just a wall, but it's categorized as a room on the gallery. Like, I don't know, maybe six or seven years ago, like way before I started my channel. And um, basically I just had a bunch of Sims just painting and doing a lot of different paintings. And then I just put them on um, a few different walls. So I, ha I think I have them categorized by like the tall wall or like, uh, not tall wall, but like the bigger paintings and the medium paintings and the smaller paintings. And then I think in my like own library, just for my sake, I've categorized them a little bit more. So like they're, the wall is a little bit smaller and I have like the ones that would look good in a kid's room on like one and you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, if you want to download those paintings, you can, they're on my gallery. You're gonna have to scroll <laughs> a little bit because again, I think it's like six or seven years ago that I did that. But yeah, there's also a bunch of other people who have done similar things. Like this is not a thing that just I thought of. Um, but again, I did this like long before I realized that there were like other people on the gallery and stuff. So yeah, um, I, I was a weird kid. Um, I didn't realize a lot of things, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, they are, they are base game paintings. Uh, there are, I think, a couple that, like, can, like, I, I want to say they come with different packs, but I don't think so. Um, but the ones I obviously used in this build are all, are all base game and they're just paintings that you can do in the game because I know there's also a lot of people on the gallery who, like, make these paintings that kind of looks more like CC, but they're not, and they look, I don't know, like, I genuinely don't really know how they've done those paintings, but they have, and it's not, again, it's not CC, but it kind of looks like CC, and sometimes it would have, like, words on it, or it would be, like, a person on it, or, you know, whatever, and I love them, don't get me wrong, and, like, if I played the game myself, <laughs> I only build, really, but, like, if I was to build a house for like uh, just like my own gameplay I would probably use them but um when I built like this I want everything I'm using to kind of look like it belongs in the game and sometimes I feel like those paintings don't like I don't know maybe again maybe that's just me but in my in my opinion it sometimes look a little bit out of place so I prefer the ones that we actually can paint in the game because obviously I don't know, you can, you can paint them and maybe like one of the parents is really into painting and that's like why <laughs> there are paintings everywhere in this house. Like maybe the, them they have done them or maybe like, I don't know, an aunt paints and they have gotten paintings from that or I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd mention that because you will see me es again, especially do it in the toddlers and the kids room and I thought I'd just mention it so... Um, I don't get like a thousand comments being like, where are those paintings from? Those paintings are not deep or not, are not base game or we don't have them in the catalog or whatever. Um, but yeah, again, they're, they're just, they're just paintings you can actually make in game. Um, but yeah, anyways, getting back into the build, um, you have seen me do the entire, um, downstairs now. Um, and the downstairs, again, I've talked about like the dining room, the living room, stuff like that. The kitchen, very simple. I end up using the more 
industrial slash rustic looking counters. Um, I really like them. I normally would use, um, I don't know how to explain them, but I normally use some other ones that are like one of my favorite counters, but I just thought they didn't really fit into this house because this house, it it's like, it's suburban, but it's not like traditional. And so it has a little bit mixed, like there's some modern elements, but there's also some traditional elements and stuff like that. And I felt like the kitchen is something you would maybe renovate. So I feel like they wouldn't have um, very traditional looking counters. So I decided to go for the other counters, but yeah. Um, and then there ends up being a garage <laughs> because I obviously did a garage on the exterior and I didn't want to make that into a like non-garage on the interior, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And I just put like the workbench in there and um, like the treadmill and the other gym equipment thing that I never know what to call. Uh, but you know the thing where you can like do the arms and legs or whatever I don't know I don't know gym terms but I put that in there um and I put like some storage and stuff like that just to make it real a little realistic and then you saw me decorate one of the bathrooms as always I only show one bathroom uh there ends up being two other ones three other ones I don't actually know I think it's like three other bathrooms um and one is a half bath and then the other two are like full bathrooms. So there are a few bathrooms in this house. Uh, there doesn't end up being an office in this house, but I do end up putting a um, laptop on the like dining table. So there is still a computer in this house. Don't worry. Um, and I think I might've actually put one in the kid's bedroom. I normally don't, which is kind of weird because like kids have computers but I, for me it's just more natural to put a computer in a teen's room but like I had a computer when I was a kid like I had a full on like PC when I was a kid so I don't like I don't know why I don't but I just tend to not put a computer or like a laptop in a kid's room but yeah um I think I might have done it though um in this build but I'm not 100% sure um but yeah and then the parents bedroom it's very generic <laughs> It's a very generic parents' bedroom. They do have an ensuite bathroom, which is nice, but yeah. And then I just move on to the toddler's bedroom, and then I do the kids' bedroom. And I've already talked about those two, really. Um, again, the toddler's bedroom ends up being like blue, and again that um bed that I end up using. And I also used um an armchair that I do use in the living room as well. And whenever I do use that armchair, which I do relatively often, I use it in the spot I did in the living room because it's this like creamy um like comfy looking armchair and I like using it for like family homes because it's like oh this is like the kids like armchairs like for them because it has this like kind of like a little bear face you know at the back of it and then again in the toddler's bedroom I decided to use a different swatch of it which I don't think I've ever used because if you've been here before you will know that uh color kind of scares me <laughs> I like my neutrals, um, and that swash that I use in the armchair in the toddler's bedroom is very loud. It's very blue and then, um, like, yellow, and it kind of looks like a little bit more like a monster, but I thought it fitted into that room so well, um, and I also used a, like, dinosaur slash dragon, like, plushy, like, those, you know, the huge ones that, like, the, um, kids in the game can, like, interact with. I ended up putting that in this room as well, and in this, like, blue swatch again, I think it just... This room, I don't know why, like, I never thought I would like such a colorful room, but I feel like it is kind of cohesive at the same time, as, uh, like, but it still looks like a toddler lives here, like, it's a little bit chaotic, but it's also cohesive, so, yeah, I just, I really, really liked it, um, and I hope you guys liked it as well, and then, again, the kids' room ends up being pretty generic, but kind of cute as well, um, I wanted it to maybe look like a little bit more like a preteen lives there, maybe? Um, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I ended up putting, like, the drawing table in there and, um, some other, like, interactable things, like, skill building things. Um, but, yeah, that's basically, like, it for the build portion. Um, the video is almost done. It's a very short video this week, which is nice. Um, again, I am pre-recording because, uh, again, I am, will be in the UK, um, for two weeks and then, so, again, this is going off out Friday and I am technically leaving for Friday. My, my flight is on Saturday, if that makes sense, and then um, I won't get home until like two weeks later, a little bit more than two weeks later actually, so I have to pre-record stuff. So I'm recording this on Sunday, which normally I record things on like the Wednesday or Thursday, um, like 
a couple of days before I post this because I usually post on Fridays. Um, but this is a little bit pre-recorded and then the next two builds will be completely pre-recorded. So um, I decided to do a little bit of like shorter builds for my pre-recording things. So this is like 28, 29 minutes. And then I think the next one ends up being like 30 minutes, which or like 38 minutes maybe. I think, um, which might not sound short, <laughs> but if you've been here before, you know, that that's like a relatively like short slash normal video length for me because my videos tend to be really long because of all the detail I put into my builds. Like it takes me a bit to build things. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are well. Let me know how you are in the comments. Um, I'm okay. Still health issues as normal. Um, and I'm like tired and a lot of things have been going on, but I am very excited to go on my trip. Like, I am so, like, so beyond excited. I just wanted to, I just, I just want to be there now. Um, I have so many things, like, planned, though. I am going to come home and just be, like, sleeping for, like, two weeks because <laughs> it's gonna be so many things going on and, like, so many people to meet, which my social anxiety is a little worried, but I feel like I'm gonna be fine. Um, I feel like it's gonna be fun though as well so I think I'm gonna be fine but like people um I will 100% be talking about it when I get home um but that will be a few weeks after this um but yeah I'm um, just kind of preparing for that and like been editing like crazy and stuff like that so yeah um and yeah I don't really know what else to talk about <laughs> how are you guys I hope you're well um let me know what you guys have going on. Uh, isn't it like spring break now, I think, for a lot of people? So are you doing anything fun for spring break? I don't know. Let me know. Uh, but anyways, that's basically it for this video. And I really hope you liked it. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.